welcome back to my channel for another video this week. I have not made one of these videos in a super long time and I could give you all the excuses in the world. I've been moving, um, I've been busy, whatever, but I haven't made a record review video in a super long time and I've been saying for like, oh my god, it might even be two years now that I want to review this record that I'm going to show you. And now I'm finally here to do it. And I've been keeping it sealed um, because I want to review it. <laughs> and I've been keeping it sealed this entire time and it's just like such a disservice to this record that it's just sitting there. Anyway, before we get into the record view review, I really have to make this announcement to all of my lovely followers and viewers who watch my record review videos. First of all, thank you so much for your support. I immensely appreciate it, especially when you comment um, and reach out to me about record review videos. I really appreciate that. But <laughs> with peace and love, as H3 Ethan Klein always says, with peace and love, you have to stop DMing me and asking to buy my records. I'm so done. I get messages every now and then um, from people who see like my blonde or endless records. Um, and lately it's been my trip by Jenna Iko record. And I get messages from you guys DMing me, asking me, hey, can I buy this record off of you um, for such and such reason? And with peace and love, no. I am not going to sell any of you my record, anyone. Um, and I, it's not just because it's you DMing me or because of who you are. This is just anybody. I'm not selling my records to anyone. Um, so with peace and love, please stop. <laughs> and I'm going to make this a regular thing at the beginning of my videos now. Please stop asking me to buy a record off of me because I'm going to ignore you. Um, and I might block you if you are persistent. So please stop asking me. I love these records far too much to sell them online to strangers. So it's just not going to happen. Um, but other than that, if you want to reach out to me about a record, I know some of you have been asking me, especially with the trip record, you've been asking me where you can buy it. And honestly, I don't know other than Discogs and eBay. Um, and even then, you're probably going to find it for marked up prices, but I bought my trip record from like Urban Outfitters or something like that. And I didn't pay a bunch of money for it because I bought it a long time ago. Um, so that's all I can help you with. So if you're gonna DM me asking where to buy records, my only response is going to be Discogs or eBay. That's all I got for you. Otherwise, um, I buy all of my records from Barnes & Noble and Urban Outfitters. So that is my announcement to you all before we get into this video. So now I'm going to be talking to you about an incredible album that I really wanted to get on vinyl. And I have to say, I am a latecomer to the amazingness of this album. I didn't start listening to this album until 2019, I think, um, or maybe 2018. And I'm pretty sure, well, why don't I tell you what it is? So we're gonna be reviewing Anti by Rihanna. And as many of you are so well aware, this is the most recent album of Rihanna. She's not put out an album since this album, which, you know, has enraged a lot of people because she is focusing on 
her many, um, her many, uh, consumer products such as Fenty Beauty and her Fenty fashion line. But let me look up when this album came out. I want to say 2016. Yes. Okay. So this was released in January 27th, 2016. And I was very late to the game, so I don't think I started listening until 2019, which is just such a shame. But I think it was around that time that I was just hearing so many people be like, please release an album, please release an album. And I was like, well, why don't I give this album a listen since so many people are asking for a new album? And I also had seen so many people just, you know, praising this album. Um, and so, of course... After I fell in love with it, I decided I wanted to buy it, but it was well out of production by that time. So I bought this album on Discogs. And let me confirm, but I'm pretty sure I paid $80 for this album. Let me see if I still have the receipt. Okay, yeah, so I looked it up and I paid $78 and 98 cents for this album and it's sealed. I think that's a pretty good deal um, for this album because it's out of production and I don't know how much it is now. Um, let me see when I bought it. I think it was 2019. Yeah, I bought it July 2019. So I think that's pretty good price. Um, I'm certain that that is the absolute most I have ever paid for an album, for a record. Um, because my Blonde and my Endless records, I bought those from Frank Ocean. And I'm pretty sure they were $35. So that's a pretty good price. Okay, I think that's enough talking. And it's time to open it and bust into this. Um, I'm so excited. I've been waiting such a long time, literally two years at this point, almost two years. So it's time to bust into it. Oh my God, it says that it's the white vinyl because it's the Urban Outfitters exclusive, which I am so excited. So on the front is, of course, this is the normal album cover that you'll see on the digital version, and I love this album cover. I am pretty certain it's Rihanna when she was a kid. It looks like her, right? Like, I feel like this part looks like her. And it's a crown. And it has braille all on the front, just zooming in. And you can actually feel it, it is actually braille. Well, I don't know if it's braille, but I'm pretty sure that's braille, right? Anyways, you can actually feel it. It does have the texture of Braille. And this is the back, which is the same image, but like the back side of her with the crown. I love the gold crown. And it looks like she has Braille on the crown as well. Um, can someone confirm in the comments if this is Rihanna on the front? I'll try to confirm in the description if I can. Um, but it feels very soft. Like, it feels like, um, what can I compare this to? Like, if you ever get packaging, okay, for example, the iPhone packaging, the box that it comes in, at least for the older models, it's like a very soft, um, yeah, it's a very soft kind of feel. That's exactly what this jacket feels like. Um, so let's open it up and see what's on the inside. Ooh, okay. I'm going to show you better close-ups with my camera when I can later, but on the inside... There's another braille piece, but it's like in a picture frame, which is pretty cool. And then the other side, it looks like braille with fingerprints on it, which I'm assuming because you touch braille. And then it opens again. So it's like 
you see there's another side. See, that's the front of the Braille. And it's again, other portraits of the Braille, but they have fingerprints on them because you touch it. So let's take out the first record. Okay, so it comes in this plastic sleeve which if you're familiar with my record reviews before, you do know that I'm not a fan really of the plastic, I mean not plastic, sorry, the paper sleeves, just because they rip and I don't like that they rip and they're so fragile. Um, but the good thing is, is that they're easily replaceable. So, okay, here is side A and I do really like when they list all of the songs that are on that side of the record. So as you can see, it lists um, each song. So I really appreciate that. Um, but now we're gonna take it out. Okay, so this is the white record. I've never had a white record before in my life. Um, but it looks like on the other side that there is some, I don't think it's picking up on camera, but there is some things stuck on the grooves, which I'm trying to blow off. I don't know what that is. It might be from the packaging itself, but I love seeing a white vinyl. I think that is so cool. I would definitely give that extra points for originality because like I said, I've never seen um, a white album like this before. So I'm gonna put this on my record player and we're gonna play it and listen to it for the first time. Okay, everyone, I've concluded my listening of the record, and it sounds amazing, of course. Absolutely love it. And I did take some shots of the record, the jacket, and the actual record spinning on my record player. And so Overall, I absolutely love this record. I love the packaging. Um, let me tell you what I would rate it. So I try to rate my records on a scale of one to 10. And I would give this a nine out of 10. Um, the only reason I would dock a point is because of the paper um, sleeves that it came in. Just not a fan of paper sleeves because they are so fragile. I prefer like the plastic or like much nicer paper. So like I think the Endless or Blonde Vinyl, one of them has really nice sleeves that I would say that's like my favorite quality. So I'd give this a nine out of 10, really good points for the feel of the record. Like I said, it feels like an iPhone case, so it's very soft. The braille is very cool. Um, I would say, you know, I would give it bonus points as well for the artwork. I think it's very unique. Um, I love the 3D effect, and I love that it's what I think is a younger picture of her. And the crown, I love the red and white. The braille is really cool. Um, bonus points because it opens up two ways. So there's like three sides on the inside. And I would say bonus points for the inside artwork, like the braille and the fingerprints I think is really cool. Um, extra bonus points for a white record. I've never had a white record before. I think that's so cool and very unique. Um, and so yeah, that's why I would give it a 9 out of 10. I would say this is in my top three most precious records. So number one would be Blonde, number two would be Endless, and number three would be Anti by Rihanna. Um, if not, maybe it's in a tie with Trip. 
uh, by Jenna Iko, but I would say this record artwork and material is actually above the record material for Trip. So, 9 out of 10, I think that's the highest I've rated a record thus far. Um, so yeah, if you're on the market looking on Discogs or eBay, I would say it's well worth your money to invest in this purchase. I'm more than happy, actually, with my results. Um, and even though it's taken me two years, I think it was worth the wait because this is by far, like I said, one of the best records that I own. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'd really like to post some more record reviews in the future. Oh, I also forgot I wanted to include in this video a mini haul of some records that I've purchased. Um, so I've actually been on the hunt for this record for a super long time. Well, actually not on the hunt. I've just been wanting it and I haven't gone out of my way to buy it. And that's Igor by Tyler the Creator. If you didn't know, I'm a huge Tyler the Creator fan. I have been since my freshman year in high school, which was 11 years ago. Oh my God, I feel super old saying that. Um, but yeah, I really fell in love with Tyler, um, of course, when Goblin came out. So I've really been a fan since then. And I've been with him through Goblin, Wolf, Scumfuck Flower Boy, and now Igor. And Igor, of course, is an amazing album of his. So that's one of my new pickups. This one, wait, no, I'm going to go to this one first. So I actually don't know if I like this record. So by the way, let me do a little plug. I have a TikTok account and I've just had it just to like consume content. I've never created on there until today I decided to film my very first TikTok that I actually put effort into. So I'm going to put my TikTok tan my TikTok handle right here. And I made a record collection TikTok. So please go watch it and like it. Um, and I'd love to know your thoughts on the records that I chose. Um, anyway, in one of them, it said what in the TikTok, it said, what is a record that you didn't know any songs before you bought it and you ended up loving it? Well, this is Folklore by Taylor Swift. And I actually don't know any songs on this album like if you ask me right now like sing a song from folklore i could not do it i actually don't know any so i kind of lied on that video because i said i ended up loving that album but i didn't have anything to choose from like all of the albums that i've bought on record i've known all of them so anyways i don't actually know if i love this record i still need to start listening to it more but i did pick this up um yeah, I want to see if I'll like it. And if I don't, then I'll probably still keep the record just because. Um, but I really want to buy 1989 on vinyl because I love that album. And I also, well, I guess I'll save that for a future video. I have two records that are coming in the mail. Anyway, so this is the third one that I picked up for my haul. And it's Here We Go Again by Demi Lovato. And I love this album. <laughs> this is like for sure throwback Disney days. Like this is middle school type of shit right here. And this album is actually so good. And I'm pretty sure to this day this is her best performing like in the charts album. And... Anyways, I'm really excited to have this on vinyl because, like, honestly, this is my favorite Demi era. Like, truly, um, 
yeah she's so young in these pictures like she does not look like this at all anymore so here we go again yeah that is probably this and riot by paramore are like my two biggest throwback um albums or records that i have so i just wanted to do that little mini haul to let you know that i am still collecting so anyways i'm going to make a poll on my community tab to ask you all what record you want to me to review next so go vote in that if you are so inclined to do so um and anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you thought in the comments do any of you have anti on record on vinyl i'd love to know and hear your thoughts or even if you'd like to tell me some of your favorite songs from the album so i forgot to include that but let me pull it up some of my favorite songs okay consideration is such a good song that's like really up there with me desperado probably my number one from the track i also love um same old mistakes um higher is just like such a pisces song she's a pisces aries moon such a pisces song it's like so in your feels and her vocals on that are fucking incredible so really love higher um but yeah same old mistakes i do really love to listen to that um in the car um that's just my favorite so those are some of my favorites from the album let me know down below what some of your favorites are. Also, I love Needed Me. I forgot to include that. I remember listening to that on the radio and I had no idea that that was Rihanna, which is so funny. But anyways, um, that's all for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you want to see more record reviews, I'd love to hear um, what you want to see from me. Maybe I could give a record player setup tour. It's actually very janky and not to my liking right now. It's just kind of a situation where I don't have any other space in my room to put this, so I put it on my mini bookshelf. And that's just where we are in life. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.